This is Comic Burrito, 10 Days of Halloween. I'm Todd. I'm Cole. I'm Nick, and we are talking about Come Into Me. And it ranks on our list as seven. seven of all the books we've read. Yeah, it does. It's written by Zach Thompson and Lonnie Nadler. Pencils and inks by Pio, Pio, Peter Kowalski. Nailed Colors it. by Nico Guardia. And mm-hmm. letters by Ryan Ferrerer. Fer- Ferrier. Ferrerer. Ferrerer. And it's Ferrari. by Black Mask Studios. Black Mask. It is a four-parter. Mm-hmm. Four issues. Todd four this issues. Book. Todd did pick this book. And let me tell you what. Because Todd's a weirdo. It's a yeah. good pick, and I'm concerned for Todd. I've already <laughs> notified the authorities. Uh, <laughs> Not the first time. I think yeah. the first two issues in, I was like, I don't think this is a horror book. And then it becomes one. I mean, I, you can definitely sense it's coming. Psychological for uh, a yeah. while. Coming. The, as unlikely as this is to happen, <laughs> this definitely seems like of all the books we've read, the one that could happen the most. Sure. That's terrifying. The thanks for that imagery. <laughs> uh, hold on, I'm looking at my list. I mean, there's there's one other one that I think... It's got a real... Um, yeah, yeah, you're right. It has a David what? Cronenberg but yes. feel to this book. Which is one of my favorites. I don't. I, I, for those who are not familiar with David Cronenberg, um, he's got some messed up movies. Uh, <laughs> it's uh, Existence and um, oh god, what's that other? Oh my god, I'm gonna Google it real quick. David Cronenberg, because he has uh, um, Videodrome. That's another messed up one. Uh, the, oh, he did The Fly, Dodoy, oh. um, Scanners. Uh, he's got, but Videodrome is the one, Videodrome and Existence are the two that, like, I think about when I'm reading this comic the most. And if you recognize those names and those are things that interest you, you are going to love this comic book. Sure. I, it was, I, I, I really liked it. it. I mean, it's it's pretty, there's some really messed up stuff and the artwork is very graphic. Uh, and, and, uh, um, the color, the coloring is great as well too, going, going through it. But yeah, it, like, like you said, Cole, it, it, it definitely, I kind of had an idea of maybe where it was going. And then it was like, it, and as soon as it starts on that slope, it's like, yep, here we go. And it is, I, I'm, I don't know what like era of horror I want to put it in really. I would say it's body but, horror maybe. Yeah, there's some serious, uh, some some really big body image stuff in general. Yeah. Um, in, there's in a lot of thriller too. stuff. Like it, it, it's an it is an '80s like it's it's like an '80s horror film, but like the, '80s sci-fi. Like it would have been an '80s sci-fi. Like now it's now it's, it's not David Cronenberg. If off. you watch Existence and Videodrome, and you'll get that it's an '80s David Cronenberg film. It is like. Just like that. This is going to date when this we recorded this, but I was at my dad's for a vacation and I was reading this. You could say last. Oh my goodness. This seemed like a very weird thing to like read around family members. Also, this is very graphic. There's a lot of, there's not as much nudity as you would think for what it is, but there's a lot of, there's a lot of penis. And there's a lot of just gross stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Like if you don't like like gross body insides, probably don't read this book. Yeah, or do because it'll have that like it might help yeah. on you of like oh, there were definitely some times that it was like ooh, like it was kind of hard to look at, but still like like it's like a train, like a train wreck. wreck. You don't yeah, want to look at it, but look, you're looking but at like, it. Oh god, yeah. Um, super cool. Should do you want to like talk about the like basic premise of the book at all? Of like what's kind of going on? Uh, I, uh, it's it's kind of shown on the cover of number yeah. one, but it's it's about how two people can connect like through with a mix of technology and bioorganics and some of the pitfalls that can come thereof. Right. 
Like yeah, you kind of I mean, like it's like a sharing of a mind, but what is they're also mean? selling it as the new social networking. Yeah. Like yeah. you want to be close to your partner, be inside their brain. Like come into me. Yeah. <laughs> that part. You know. Yeah. Like people do. That's one does. Yes. <laughs> Black Mask has a lot of very good books. And I think that the hard thing is that like, they're not as easy to accumulate and their marketing may or may not be terrible. If you listen to our interview with Jared Lujan, we talk about that, but it's very hard that I don't hear about these books and I'm glad that you recommended it because I probably would never read this book unless no, someone never, asked never, me to yeah. read this book. Yeah. I and, never would have read this. And it's great. I mean, like it was funny because even when we were going through black mass during the quarantine of like, what books do you want? I don't even think I like notice this book is a book to maybe purchase. No, nope. this definitely fits right up my alley of stuff that I would like. Like, yeah, you definitely saw it. I was just looking at their crime stuff. Cause it was like right before, like, I mean, I was really starting to get into a lot more horror stuff. I mean, mm -hmm. so. It's awesome. Yeah. And weird. <laughs> Very I weird. I'm glad it's four weird. issues. I do not want a 12 issue version of this book. Yeah. No, that would be it, too much. <laughs> I think it's fair to say too that it's maybe more art house creepy than it is. Mm -hmm. Like it's not slasher. No, it's not or horror. It's, gross. Yeah, it's it's yeah. It's, There's yeah, just some body image stuff that's very weird. Yeah. I think we're getting recursive on ourselves. So, yes, I would recommend it. I can't, I, I'm really happy that it came in at seven, seven on our list. I think it might have been better than the way that we ranked it. That's Maybe. That's Unless fair. it's number one. Uh, <laughs> Maybe it still deserves to be better. Then maybe it should be better. <laughs> but either way, thanks for getting spooked up with us. Ooh. I'm Todd. I'm Cole. And I'm Nick. And this has been Comic Burrito 10 Days of Halloween. Oh. A booyah. <laughs> okay, goodbye now. <laughs> bye bye.